Hey guys, Russ here with Bishops West. I wanted to talk today about patch points in Cakewalk Sonar. What they are, what they can be used for, um, just a little bit of an introduction for you who haven't used them before. So here we have um, Cakewalk's website, and this is straight from their help files. This is kind of a discussion of what patch points can do. I wanted to show you this so that you can see Really, patch points are all about taking the signal from pretty much any track and routing it to an audio track. So it doesn't matter if it's an audio track, if it's a bus, if it's a send, any of these can be routed to an audio track. Now the easy way to start doing this is by just inserting an aux track. So I'm going to show you how to do that real fast. So you can see here in Cakewalk Sonar, I've inserted an instance of Addictive Drums 2, um, pulled in a MIDI beat. Okay, sounds something like that. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and insert a send, but instead of going to the effects or the mix bus or the master bus like I would usually do, I'm going to go down here and see where it says new aux track. I'm gonna insert that. You can see it inserted the aux track for me. And so um, what I'm gonna do now is I can use this to kind of listen to it. And in fact, I can send more than one track to it. I can send, send several tracks to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit record on this. So I'm record enable. And I'm gonna record what the signal coming out of the first track into this new aux track. Okay, so there you go. Get rid of that. Now if I just solo that. Okay. Now where this gets interesting is, let's say I get, where'd it go? Get rid of this, um, disable it for right now. Maybe I want to send it though to um, one of my effects buses down there. So I'll do delay one fourth just for fun. Let's see what that sounds like. So now what I can do is down here, find my delay, same thing, I'm going to insert a send and I'm going to send it to that aux1 track. Okay. Uh, let's just get rid of this, but now I'm going to record enable again. Hit R for record. Okay. So now that becomes kind of interesting because I've got this track And all it is is the delay from the first track, but without the original signal coming in. So I can kind of mix these, pan them right and left, uh, maybe use a stereo widener on them, you know, do all kinds of EQ, and I can get as crazy as I want. Maybe um, use a stutter effect, maybe do, uh, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. Lots of crazy reverb, maybe stick some chorus on there. Um, but I think, yeah, what I would start with is maybe take this down the middle, make it a mono, and then use a stereo widener on this and just, you know, put some crazy stuff on there. So I hope that gives you a couple ideas of what you can use patch points for. 
Um, I think I'll continue this next time, maybe give you a couple more ideas, but that's all for today. So um, please let me know if you have any questions or comments. Looking forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks. Have a great day.